Hey guys, it's your boy Asher here with another video and this one will be my second episode of It's a Dog's Bone. In this episode, I will be showing you DIY tips and tricks on fursuit accessories. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so here we have my fursuit, Asher, the boy. And so the first type of accessory that I'm going to show you can actually be um, put on in many different ways. So if there's a certain style you want, like this accessories can do it and that is a bandana so there are many ways that you can put a bandana on a fursuit you can uh, wear it around the neck like a little puppy this one isn't really a fursuit size bandana but if you do have a fursuit size bandana you can wear it around the neck and it's like super adorable and if you have a really big bandana I highly suggest you do it but if you just have a regular square bandana like me uh, there are several ways you can do this so the first way is to fold it like so and wrap it around the ear like this just do a little quick knot around it and you can wear it around the ear to give that kind of gangster look. Another thing you can do with a bandana is to wrap it around the muzzle. Say if your character has been a very bad dog, you can just wrap it around like so, like a little muzzle, like this. And it also keeps the mouth shut if you need the mouth shut or if your character is mute or if, I don't know, you just for some reason want to put a little muzzle on your character, this is a way to do so and can look really cute and adorable. Another way to um, wear a bandana, uh, this one is like, I wouldn't wear this to cons, but I've seen it being done before. It's like a tied up sort of look. So you put the bandana into the mouth of the fursuit and you tie it around the back. Or say if you have a button or a pin, you can just attach it like so. And uh, it kind of makes your fursuit look like it's being all tied up or gagged or something. I personally would never wear this on my suit, but if you want to wear this for like maybe a live action role play thing you're doing, then by all means go ahead. It's just another way you can style a bandana, so I figured why not put it in the video. Alright, so if your fursuit has horns around the ears like this, then I assume that there's a little bit of space between the horns behind the head and the ears. So if you have ram horns on the back of your fursuit, this is another way you can do it, which I think looks super cute. So what you do is you fold it in half like this, just simple fold in half and uh, you stick the ends behind the horns and through here and you want to tie them up not too tight so that it's not compressing the horns together but tight enough to where it won't slide off your horns or just plain fall off so you can just tie it once or tie it twice however you're feeling but for now I'm just gonna tie it once and then you pull it over and then you get this cute little maiden look like how um, Levi off of Attack on Titan looks whenever he's cleaning the house they were all staying in so it it has this really cute look
I really like this neck style because you don't need a fursuit to do this. Uh, you just need a fursuit tail. Um, so this one is actually really simple. You just take your tail and your bandana and you simply wrap it around the tail. I really like this because not everybody can afford a fursuit or many people don't want one, but that's okay. Even if you don't have a fursuit, you can still decorate your fursuit parts um, to make them a little more unique. The best part about this is that you don't even have to have a big tail. You can just fold up your bandana to make it as long or as short as you need. And you can actually put it on a little stub tail like this. And don't you worry, long tails of felines and any other sort of long tail, you're not excluded either. So maybe you have a, like a really thin tail like this or like a super long tail, don't worry because you can still tie it on. So yeah, you just tie it around like so. Maybe you could do a little double loop on top to give it a little bow and voila! You now have a decorated fursuit tail. Alright, this next DIY is very simple, and this is how to do fursuit piercings if you don't want to damage your fursuit ears, or if you sort of a temporary edgy look, or just are experimenting with new looks for your character or persona. So here I have a few buttons to choose from. Uh, there all different sizes. We got a slightly larger one, a regular size one, and a little rallet button that I got from TFF 2017. It doesn't really matter what size button you have, so as long as they have the little pin on the back. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using my Yuri Plasetsky button and my Yuri Katsuki button because they match really well and they also go really well with the colors of my suit. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using these two. So, what you do is you unhook the backing of the button and you take your fursuit. And you want to grab up on the fur, but don't be too rough with it because you don't want to accidentally pull out any fur. And you want to pull out the fur a little bit so that you can feel the backing of the fur in your hands. And then you take the sharp pointy end of the button and you just push it through the fur. Try not to go through any foam because you don't want to damage the suit. You only want to go through the fur. And then you attach it to the back like so. And there you have, your suit has now acquired gauges and or piercings. So you do the same thing on the other side. Unhook, grab, install. Now you have a brand new look for your suit and really cute accessories because who doesn't love my boys right here? This is just a little way to make your suit a little more lively and a little more full of character. You can use as many piercings as you want. You can be as subtle as you want or as edgy as you want. Heck, you can even, if you want, give yourself new eyebrows. Bam! 
The next fursuit accessory I have for you are fursuit sunglasses and glasses. So this one is really, really easy to do. All you have to do is go to Walmart or Target or Party City or anything that sells um, party supplies and you basically just get any jumbo size glasses and you simply just put it on your fursuit like so. And here's the boy in his other pair of shades. Yeah, super cute. Well, I hope you liked this little video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment below what you'd like to see next, and click that red button to see more quality content whenever I have the time to upload and make more videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!